Ohio University Libraries, enhancing excellence in teaching, learning, and research. Rings of a tree, like folded pages precisely sewn, wood and paper foundations mature into legacies of creativity and thought. We've moved from a print world in which information was scarce, highly organized, and tightly controlled, to a network world in which information is pervasive, highly disorganized, and widely available. Most scholarship is now born digital, and most faculty and students prefer using library materials electronically rather than the print equivalents. It's hard to believe it all started back in 1814. Now, a lot was going on in 1814. Napoleon's army was marching across Europe. The British army had invaded Washington, D.C. and managed to burn the Capitol building. Beethoven premiered his Seventh Symphony. And in the wilderness that was Athens, Ohio University began its library. A decade after the university was founded, the library of The Ohio University was officially established in the minutes and resolutions of the president and the trustees of The Ohio University. The Academy. The first collection of Ohio University books was in the Academy, which stood close to where Galbraith Chapel sits today. The building was finished in 1808, making it the first building on campus. In 1811, a committee appropriated $308 for the first books to be purchased for Ohio University. College Edifice. The College Edifice, now Cutler Hall, was the second building on campus. It was originally a dormitory, classroom, biology laboratories, and the library. In 1820, the Ohio University Board of Trustees allowed Archibald G. Brown to become the first official librarian. In 1827, the library reported to have 1,000 volumes. The Athenian Literary Society and the Philomathian both had rooms in the college edifice, housing member-only libraries and meeting rooms. In 1878, the two literary societies donated their collections to the Ohio University Library. In 1885, the library housed 7,000 volumes. Carnegie Library. Industrialist Andrew Carnegie donated money for the construction of the first standalone library on campus, with the condition that it be open to the public, not just the university community. Used from 1905 to 1930, it boasted patron enrollment at 1700 in 1907. First full-time librarian Charles Matthews began creating the first card catalog at Ohio in Carnegie Library. After 20 years, the library collection had nearly quadrupled to 72,000 outgrowing the building. It was the shortest lived library in Ohio's history. Chubb Library. Completed in 1931, Chubb Library had a capacity for 250,000 volumes. The open stacks policy allowed people to find their own books. Students studied silently and diligently in Chubb, rarely studying in groups. Alden Library. Alden Library opened its doors in 1969, marking a new era for Ohio University libraries. And the Board of Trustees has met, and they have named this library the Vernon Roger Alden Library. <laughs> to keep pace with this growth, I mentioned only one building in my address, and that was the need for a new library. A great library is the heart of any great university. In 1972, the library added the east and west wings, which increased capacity by a million volumes. As computers started to make their presence known among the traditional card catalogs, Ohio University's library was the first to post a record to OCLC, 
the Online Computer Library Center, which connected libraries around the world. As the library grew, in 1996, Ohio University earned its place among an elite group of major university and research libraries in the United States and in Canada as a member of the prestigious Association of Research Libraries. Today, the library now owns hundreds of thousands of electronic resources that students, faculty, and staff can access from any place and at any time. Electronic journals and online databases now comprise over three quarters of our acquisitions. Librarians still staff the reference desk, but increasingly, questions come electronically, with nearly a quarter of our students' questions arriving by instant messaging or through Facebook. The library's website had five million hits last year alone. You might wonder then, do students still come to the library in this age of digital information? In fact, library entrances have doubled in the last five years. Our students, faculty, staff, and community members made nearly two million physical visits to our library last year alone. Enhancing excellence in teaching, learning, and research. Ohio University Libraries, 200 years of shared discovery. <laughs>